you sparred Baval in the past, right? I, I think you had told me that. Yeah. When you look when you look at that fight, does a part of you feel I could have done better than Canelo? I could have won that fight. I definitely, oh, definitely. I, I've had a lot of success when I was sparring with Bivol. Uh, we had a good sparring session, a lot of good sparring sessions. So I, I know for a fact I could have done better than Canelo. So I, I guess, you know, what, what's more interesting to you then? Uh, obviously, you said Canelo, but if there's a chance to go up to 175 and beat Bivol, like the guy that beat Canelo, like I would imagine that's lucrative also for you. Yeah, but if I mean, if you think about it, I mean, I don't think Bivol would put that in jeopardy, especially when he has a rematch already lined up. I would, if I got the opportunity to fight Bivol, I would go up, you know, instantly and go fight Bivol. But I mean, to be honest, who is he going to be making more money with? You know, he already he already took a pay cut to fight Canelo. I don't think he's willing to take another pay cut. You know, um, you know. So I mean, and, and he deserves it. But if I would get the chance, I would definitely fight. I would definitely fight Bivol. I would fight him tomorrow. You know, yeah. but I don't think I don't think he's gonna take. Now he has to be a businessman. I don't think he's gonna you know take another pay cut when he just took a pay cut and beat the the guy that everybody wants to fight. So I mean, he definitely des deserves a rematch and get paid more for the rematch. You mentioned to me that it was easy to time Baval to get his rhythm and that you figured it out like after like a few rounds. Were you surprised that Canelo was never really able to figure it out? And do you feel I, like it was I think a Canelo, what, what he did, he, he was just trying to break him down and he kept trying to hit him with power punches. And by the time he did that, that he figured out that he couldn't, that he had to do something new, that he was already gassed. You know, that's the thing about him that he just thinks he can knock everybody out and hit everybody in their arm and their arm is going to fall off. And that doesn't happen with everybody. It might happen one or two guys, but it doesn't happen with everybody else. And um, I feel like Bivol taught us a lot too. They exposed Canelo a little bit more than people thought that he could be exposed. So I mean, it was a, it was a good fight, but you know, I'm very happy for Bivol. He did what, exactly what he had to do, and you know, um, he shocked the whole world. I got two more just quick ones for you, David. Do you feel, and just you as a boxing fan, do you feel it's a better fight to go in a rematch with uh, Canelo and Bivol, or do you want to see? Uh, Golovkin and does Golovkin have a chance now based on what we saw a few weeks ago? I mean, I would definitely want to see both fights, but I feel like the fight that's more intense right now or that has um, that matters more is Bivol versus Canelo because if Bivol beats Canelo again, then Bivol is just a man, no questions asked. But if Canelo comes back and beats Bivol, then there could be a third fight. So, I mean, there's a lot of good fights from right now. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing either of them, but like like you said, a lot of people were saying that Golovkin was washed up, he's this and that, but he goes and stops a guy when he, he was having trouble against in the in the beginning rounds. And then Canelo goes and he's having trouble in the beginning rounds and he can't adapt, so he loses. So, I mean, I think both fights have a lot of uh, – both of them would be good fights to watch, and I'd definitely watch both of them. Finally, David, how does this last part of the year shake out for you? If you could – ideally have it who who would be the fights that you would want or, or you expect to get by the end of the year I mean I definitely want to get a fight with Caleb Plant or Charlo those are definitely the two names out there and I feel like if everything is comes out good this fight I don't come out with no injuries or anything I feel like those fights can be made I feel like the Caleb Plant one could be made uh before the the Charlo all right David man hey uh thank you for uh speaking to us uh, catching up with us uh, I wish you luck I'm really looking forward to this fight uh just knowing your style and, and Lemieux style I, I think it's going to be a very action friendly fight yeah thank you brother all right thank you David appreciate it thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram we appreciate it, guys.